Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dark Souls 2 Lore Through. Um, today we're going to go right down into the gutter and see how long we can last. Um, I'm not feeling great about uh, the, my durability of my stuff, so we might uh, try and switch to a, uh, oh, I didn't stay at a bonfire. Uh, we might try to switch to, uh, uh, the twin, the Santier Spear. Oh my gosh. This is just the type of, uh, place where I would, uh, fall off. Not good with that, Dark Souls 2 especially. I don't know why that one is like, I guess it's not that far, but the first drop seems so small and then you lose like most of your health. Alright, so yeah, um, as you can see, there's like a ladder and a door there. We won't be able to get to that for a while. There's another item down there, but this area here is something that is really hard to get. Uh, it's hard to get. It's hard to get to with a ladder from Gillian. So I'm gonna go this way, and then maybe we can buy a ladder so that we can uh, in investigate this other areas and get the other items down there. So, Grave of Saints, we heard about this area from Gilligan, and I was saying that I'm not sure what saint it is, although it could be Saint Soretta, as we heard about in Alva's story. However, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, I forgot to get all, rid of all these items, which I'll do really quick. Oh, we didn't read these. Stone gauntlets engraved with odd writing said to bring good fortune to wear. The wealthy merchant Fiorenza searched for these rare and precious gauntlets his entire life, but was not the one who found them. Have we heard about Fiorenza yet? I think we have. Harvel's resting place, it's called. So this is a multiplayer area. Nice. I know where you can find the uh, where you can buy repair powder later, but if you can farm it off these guys, that would be great. So, yeah, I mean, so this is one of the areas that you can uh, use all your ferrous lock stones. It's similar to the doors of Pharos, which I guess we didn't really explore on camera, but I'll go back there later and talk about it. But basically, you can like set traps by using these, and then you can bring someone here. So basically, when you're running through here, it's an interesting skull. Um, you can get summoned to another world, and uh, and it's someone's world, and they've prepared it for you. So they set all these traps and all these things for you. And uh, yeah, so I'm not on there, so we're going to fight Roy the Explorer, which we read about. But I think he's a pretty... He's wearing Horus's gear. This used to be a way that you could get the... Uh, you can get the clear one, but I think, uh... Sorry, I 
think um I think Moglin sells or gives you the uh the armor, so it's not even that valuable. Uh but the unclear Oris armor is way harder to get. It has to be I mean, at least in the last game, the first version had to be uh, farmed uh, in No Man's Worth, Wharf, with an invader. It was just a pain. Wasted so many bonfire aesthetics. Whisper of Despair. Oh, I think we've seen this. Yeah. I think uh, Falcon sold that. Interesting. Oh. Maybe, maybe these were always here, but I always felt like there was just like straight up. Just rats here. I didn't think there was any statues of rats. Huh. Uh, so yeah, it was that one down there. I was I was gonna avoid putting another Pharaoh's Lockstone in there down there. Um, but yeah, I don't need it. Uh, and you can put a uh, Pharaoh's Lockstones here. Pharaoh's Lockstones here, and then these will pour out acid and stuff. Um, you get Ferris Lockstones for defeating people, so it's fine that way, but like, um, yeah, I don't know. Alright, so now this is the grave entrance. I mean, it looks like there's been graves out here, but apparently there's a, an actual grave in here. So this is a confusing fight for some people, well, for most people in first place here. Um... So yeah, there's all these uh, rats that come out, and it looks like a boss, but there's no uh, there's no health bar, there's no nothing. There's music. I have to turn down pretty low. I actually don't know the trigger of this fight. Like, I don't know if. You need to uh, kill a certain amount of rats in order for it to... But basically at one point, the uh, rat king comes out and he's slightly different looking than the rest of the rats. And there he is. He's got a mohawk. Oh gosh. Careful, I don't want to get poisoned or turn to stone. Um, so yeah, you can see him with the mohawk here in the back. Yeah. I mean, it's a, you know, if you know what you're doing, it's a pretty uh, meaningless uh, fight. But, you know, if you don't know what's going on or what to hit or what you're doing, it can take a while and can whittle you down, so. so I guess it's a puzzle. Alright, we got a couple things. So first we got the Royal Va Rat Vanguard. Soul of the Rat King's Vanguard. Uh, of the underground realm. The Rat King's loyal servant judges the worthiness of those who seek royal audience. Use the special soul of this soldier. Uh, and we also got a rat tail. A severed rat's tail. Demonstrate fidelity by offering it to the rat king and strengthen the bond with your covenant. The rat king is proud and merciful. As any king true to his stature should be, the rat king looks favorably upon those who follow the path of right, even disgraceful humans.
so you can see a coffin here that's been opened up some bad textures and we can even see what looks like a giant's head or a I mean a giant from the first game said not the giants of this game um, but maybe a dragon's head I don't know and then of course the rat king who is all disgusting leave this place human we have no time for thy kind humans bring nothing but filth <laughs> is that a rat tail human Last one of mine rat burrows conquered. This will not go unnoticed. Rejoice, for the right to serve me is now thine. Since thou art human still, permit me ask, wilt thou thy human soul surrender and pledge thyself to me? Swearest thou? by the sweet-tempered sludge that laps at our bosoms? Um, unfortunately, um, or sorry, he speaks in, in an old tongue. I was going to say, unfortunately, I don't know if that means a lot in this game, um, unlike it did in Dark Souls 1. Um, I think he's just meant to be a colorful character. Um, I like his character all right. But, I mean... Thou hast the eyes of one who perceiveth true beauty. Human, thou mayst serve. Take this ring. It was forged by a human who was once among us. The ring draws to thee those who would defile our burrow. Wear the ring whenever thou art near and destroy those who would dare provoke our ire. I will grant unto thee all thou should so desire. I prithee serve with a true rat's honor. Uh, he could speak in the old tongue just because of uh, Alvina, I guess. Which would be another disappointing thing. King, ring of the Rat King Covenant. Join the, this covenant and wear this ring to lure trespassers of the Rat King's territory into your world. If you receive this ring, rejoice in the opportunity to demonstrate your allegiance to an eminently noble being. Speak thy mind, servant. Uh, I don't... I guess we have this, but I don't think we ever read Corrosive Urn. I should read that. Urn filled with secretions of giant corrosive ants. Powerful acid inflicts damage on equipment. Giant ant hills created by the corrosive ants line the horizon of the desert land of Hugo. Ant larvae are considered a delicacy, but he who enters an ant hill uninvited will have their flesh melted to the bone. Some cool lore there. Dung pie. I don't think we've read this. Large excrement, still rather warm. Throw an enemy to cause rapid onset of poison. Most warriors are loath to come near a thing like this, but less, much less carried around. But therein lies the advantage. My servant, tell me the way of things. There has been much honor in thy service, despite the human blood coursing thy veins. I am merciful and trust in thee as I would any rat. The insolent fools line up to tremble upon our burrows. My servant, dispatch these invaders, and thy reward will be handsome indeed. Can't remember what you get from this covenant. Knowest thee of the lockstones, those odd contraptions fashioned by human hand long ago. Thou art human, and thence able. I know thy kind, base plotters and schemers all. Put these contraptions to thy employ against thy foe. 
I wonder if Pharos was the person who created the ring as well. He said it was created by a human hand and then Pharos locked stones. He said the same thing. My servant. The insolent. Okay, I thought, I thought that might I know them. give us some dialogue. My servant. Do not disappoint me. I'll try not to. And so now we have a a huge being shown prominently probably the saint that was described below it could be pharos could be saint sereta we don't know we did get a few um repair powder, so I'm just gonna hit one because I think we're gonna be traveling a little bit here before we uh, uh, get to our next bonfire. So, just try to figure out how I'm going to get to any of these things. I'll probably skip some of those items. I don't know how to get them. Plate stone. Like, I guess you jump from there. Hopefully you do. Alright. Now the question is, can I... It's cheap. Um, yeah, and so this is how you would fall down um, from just going through the straight hole. Um, yeah, cool. I believe that's the only item, so we don't need to actually fall down here. Uh, there's that room, of course. Um, Okay, now this used to be where the Ash Knuckle Ring was, but I mean, since I have the, maybe it's Ash Knuckle Ring plus one now, but since I have it, I assume that, great. I hate this area. Did they simplify it? Okay, used to be that they came from both sides and that just got annoying. So what's oh, there's a Cyan Knight there as well. Which one? Okay, that's the way forward. All right, let's collect some stuff here. Cool. Great heal. We've read that many times. Okay. Nice. Science gauntlets. I mean, it's probably preemptive to kind of learn about these guys, but we should see what science is all about. Replica of the gauntlets of the loyal knight Cyan. This solidly crafted gear offers high defense. Sir Cyan was widely known as the kingdom's most leal knight, and when the giants invaded, he volunteered to lead the advance party, but was slaughtered most dishonorably. The king, Vendrick, commissioned replicas of Cyan's accoutrement and bestowed them to promising knights, but not long after they donned the armor did they go thoroughly mad. I think that's a slightly different uh, item description. That's interesting. 
Um, yeah, that's interesting. Nice. So yeah, Cyan was uh, was an interesting character. Um, and they don't say it quite there, but he was definitely related to Vendrick. In other words, he was not part of the old Iron King or or even the king of the f that was dealing with the Lost Bastille. Definitely Drang Lake, so. Uh, okay, are we gonna miss items here? What's going on? All right. Yeah, there is an item there. All right, well, assuming it's gonna be like a soul. Oh, yeah, you can't get to it. Oh, uh, yeah, you can. Nope. Human effigy. Um, okay, well, okay. I'm suspecting that this next part I'm going to be pretty bad. Um, I like to clear out the gutter, like with a torch and everything. Um, but I I already know that there's some quite some big differences in terms of layout and stuff. So I just hope that I can actually get to everything. Uh, I'm going to assume that you can see the teeth. Token of Spite. Now we had a token of fidelity, but now we have a token of spite. Token recognizing that the owner has traveled worlds to defeat others. When used, you are more likely to summon invaders from other worlds for a period of time. Simply carrying these tokens shows the bitterness of the grudges the holder has accumulated. And we'll be using that later. But yeah. Now, these start being really fun and start poisoning you. Great. And I don't think I have a cure. I don't have a, a poison moss. Or do I? I didn't even look. Yes, I have five. Okay. Um. So we want to go... there but all right let's try to do this area with the torch hmm. so yeah I guess this is meant to be blight town um, say it with other things it evokes <laughs> blight town although I would say it's probably less uh, meaningful or whatever uh, they did say that this was used to like put things that they didn't want which I guess makes sense like that's consistent with lore.
Oh, interesting. That's a, uh... I didn't realize that. I thought that was a shadow. If I were to roll into that, I would cause a fire. Interesting. Interesting. We see those down a little bit further. really in case these hit me later All right. so yeah I have my path that I usually go on here um, and as I say hopefully I get it all and don't miss anything this time around Ugh. Really? I'm sure that will poison me as I jump across, so... St Ring of Steel Protection. And then Melinda the Butcher, which seems a lot like, you know, the Butcher from Blighttown. Um, do I, what do I have to do here? Doesn't have the Butcher Axe, though. Ooh, poised right through that. Oh, ran out of stamina. Oh no. Ain't no thing. Okay. I was gonna light my torch there. I wanna grab all these. There's probably a, a reward for it like before, so I'm gonna try to light them all. I like those ones sticking out from the wall. Okay, and then we're back here. Alright, and now we can Continue on with the actual level. What is he doing? Looks like yoga or something. Um, yeah, we can take a huge shortcut through the level, but I'm gonna, you know, go through normally. this out extensively it might be um, hard to kind of oh wow what are all these uh, keep my durability up
Yeah, so Gilligan said that this is where they threw all the trash, and I guess this is meant to be the trash. I mean, it could, this could have been a really cool idea here. I'm sure, like, there's, um, actually, I have the design works, um, and I should maybe take a look at their original idea for the gutter, but, I don't know, it comes off as a little bit of a, I don't know, like a weird area. Oh, okay, so... Yeah, there's another. So this was in the um, on the way down the hole. I said there was a ladder up to a door, and it was a door that looked like this. But we won't be able to get to that for a while. But there's something rather interesting behind there. I'm not sure why it's there, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. All right. I haven't seen any of those dogs yet. They're not the best enemies to face. Oh, great. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to break this stuff with uh, I guess a hexinger oh wow that was like the complete opposite of Pyromancy Flame. Uh, okay. I feel like they used to do more damage, but... Oh, that sets them on fire, actually. That's interesting. I just knew that you could never get out of the way of any of this guy's attacks. Alright. Uh, I guess... Always on my guard. <laughs> A flame catalyst used by pyromancers. Pyromancers rouse this flame to produce various fire arts. The flame rewards those with a thirst for power, and the more hollowed one is, the stronger its effect. Scales with hollowing. Just cool. Oh, there was someone here. I was like, what? Okay. I could see what time I was at at the video. Okay. Let's continue on. And I'm actually going to double back to the bonfire rather than using another. Um, Repair powder. Ooh, I want that. Ooh, wow. A lot of good stuff here. Huh. I'm not meant to. Ugh. Um, I'm just gonna return, yeah. Just refresh on everything. Manslayer, I remember that. 
Haven't seen that. Oh, I should be uh, getting rid of this now that we've gone through all of the drop points. Um. right up there so now I can just drop down wonder why there's more uh, like sconces to light in groups here it is worth noting too that these sconces are all the uh, the statues with their heads ripped off in certain ways to tell a little story. Chunk, that's good. All right. All right. Let's see. There's a couple of people in here. Yeah, I think the gutter is like one of the easiest area. Okay, there's pyromancy stuff. Yeah, they're definitely trying to say that this is a. Uh, Is that a hide knight or something? Interesting. Hood favored by pyromancers. It appears tattered, but is in fact reinforced with pyromancy. Magic is no show. It is an art that allows mere mortals to glimpse into the very fabric of what is and what may be. Cool. Um, okay, I'm interested in this. Is that a hide knight? It like doesn't look like one. <sighs> but we certainly can't talk to it. So I guess we'll fight it. Um, yeah, now we can light our thing, so let's... Yeah, it certainly looks like a high night. Oh, <laughs> that was bad. Alright, 
fights like a Hide Knight, I should say. Hide Knight, Iron Mask, Hide Knight, Lance. That's cool. Iron Mask worn by the Hide Knights. Whether Hide refers to a kingdom or was just a name for the land is not cleared, for no records date back far enough to tell. All is known is that the Way of Blue has its origins in Hide. Yeah, well, the Hide's Tower of Flame. Yeah, we've read that before. Did I not pick this up? Well, look at that. They give you that now. That's cool. So yeah, Roy the Explorer was wearing a clear version of the Oris stout set. Helm of Kings of the Desert Land, Hugo, first worn by Oris, the land's heroic founder. According to legend, the armor of Oris is composed of a mysterious substance that cannot be seen by cowards. What do your eyes tell you? Huh, I wonder why that's... Why there's a, uh, like a clear version of it. So I guess Roy the Explorer is from Hugo. All right, let's continue marching along. Yeah, I think maybe we'll probably get to the next bonfire and then just do that in Black Gulch in the next video. these are in this game. It's like it's always a present to, to actually find one. You know, banded Great Axe. Okay. Um, I'm sure that doesn't tell anything great. Oh, okay. Bandits of the Ferocian outskirts. When Ferosa fell to war, its citizens were left landless and entirely to their own devices. Many were reduced to thievery, while Ferocian knights scattered to other lands as cell swords. Like. Vengarl. Uh. I don't know if that was the way I wanted to go. That's definitely not the way I wanted to go. Um, quick backtrack. There's like a heartbeat that I can hear in the background noise, which is kind of similar to what they were doing with the abyss. Like there's definitely a noise they were playing when you were around the parts of the abyss. Okay, so we want to go like here. Oh, come on. All right. Is that just where I dropped him before and I didn't pick up something? That sucks. Okay. What are we doing here? Okay, well, that's too bad. I'm not going to get that again. All right. place looks when you uh, when you light up all those torches you can see everything oh that wasn't good oh wow gotta be 
careful. Oh, he does so much damage. Well, I missed a lot of stuff, unfortunately. I'll probably uh, go back through here. Oh, so is this it? I just literally have to jump here. There's no other way. It's definitely why you don't want to do that. Wow! For the record, <laughs> for the record, I tried to turn very sharply at the last second there. Okay, we're at 50 minutes here. Let me see if I can get back quick enough. through the cracks, that's not fair. Oh wow. Thought I could avoid that. Alright. So I hope I didn't miss one up there, although I have a feeling I did. Definitely missed one here. I guess, oh god. Guess I want my souls, so. I'll go back and I'll try to light everything later. it doesn't oh there's three of them four Stop following me. Um, okay, that should be nice. But I just need to basically... I guess this is probably the best here. Oh well, that scared me. Okay. I will 
rest here, but I want to very quickly before we end the episode, I guess we can go down to the Black Gulch. Just do it like that. But I just want to see if there's a... another way up. Traverse mist from behind. I guess maybe there's just an area here that I want to look at before we go down. I was hoping that there was a way to get up here, but I don't think so. So yeah. We just heard the Crow Severns. And they said they're from extremely large Crows of Ants from Hugo. And here's one. It doesn't do any damage, it doesn't attack you, it does corrode you, which I would prefer not to do, but it's crazy looking. And I guess this is similar to uh, Blight Town a little bit in that weird thing that you can fight that then reveals like a pyromancy. This doesn't hide anything. But... Oh, does it drop something now? Nice. <laughs> Can I always use poison mouse? Yeah, but it's just sitting here, blocking nothing. Um, alright, let's light this anyway. Oh, there's another one here I missed. I'm just gonna go around in this area. I'm not gonna try to get all the items going down here, because this is a real maze here. But I just want to see if there's items and anything to light here. Not sure about the lighting part. Okay. Nope. Let us... Let's try this one. Twenty life gems. Surprised I could hold that many. Dark fog. I think we've seen this. X is regarded as poison due to the outward symptoms with the fact in fact the mist oh yeah. We did, uh, we did see that. Okay. 
I'll use the last ones here. Nice. Nice. That's still a fragrant branch of your. I guess these bonfires are really damn close. The heartbeat goes stronger. The black gulch. Some interesting things in here. I do happen to know that we need a fragrant branch of yore in order to uh, get to some items here. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, bye.